power she had in being a uh, role model for women, especially Asian uh, women in politics, uh, cannot be underestimated. Now at nine, a Bay Area political leader is being honored and remembered tonight after a morning walk ends with her tragic death. This is Cron 4 News at 9. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Catherine Heenan. In for uh, Vicki, she has the night off. Alameda County District 3 Supervisor Wilma Chan died after being hit by a car. Alameda police say that she had been walking her dog at the intersection of Shoreline Drive and Grand Street when it happened. Crown Force Jonathan McCall is live. He's in the newsroom and has uh, more in the tributes, Jonathan, that are just pouring in for this woman. Yeah, so many folks reaching out, offering their condolences, Grant and Catherine. Trailblazer, fearless and powerful. Just some of the adjectives being described to use uh, to describe Supervisor Wilma Chan. For 30 years, she used her voice to champion a number of social issues, including access to health care and justice reform. Tonight, many say her death serves as yet another reminder of the dangers that pedestrians face here on Bay Area streets. Tributes and condolences are pouring in from across California for Alameda County District 3 Supervisor Wilma Chan. Nikki Fortunato Bass, president of the Oakland City Council, called her loss devastating. California Governor Gavin Newsom said her decades of service touched the lives of many. District 18 Assemblywoman Mia Bonta said that her values and strength are a model for us all. I'm really shocked. Uh, Wilma was a huge inspiration to me. Former California State Senator Jim Bell says that Alameda County and much of California owes Chan a debt of gratitude for pushing for reforms on mental health, homelessness, and justice reform. Well, she was fundamentally against uh, over-incarceration of individuals with um, basic health problems, people that have behavioral health problems. Why incarcerate these people? For 30 years, she broke barriers in California politics, becoming the first Asian American elected to the Oakland School Board, then the first Asian American woman serving as majority leader of the California Assembly. She also served two stints on the Alameda County Board of Supervisors. Johnny Ramchandran credits Chan for sparking her own political ambitions. We have zero. API women in our state legislature. We've only had six in the course of California's history. But she didn't just talk about it. She got things done. She didn't just introduce bills. She got them passed. Alameda police say Chan was walking her dog Wednesday morning when a driver hit her, causing her to suffer a severe head injury. Paramedics took her to Highland Hospital, where she later died. We have to design our system uh, for people, not cars. Bell hopes that Chan's death can once again spark change for another problem in California, the safety of roads in the Golden State. It's a major uh, health, public health problem. It should be looked at like that. We should do everything we can to reduce uh, crashes. Chan is survived by two children and two ch grandchildren. So far, no charges have been filed in the case. Alameda police say the driver at the center of the investigation is cooperating with them. So far, services are pending. We'll let you know when final arrangements are made. Live tonight in the newsroom, Jonathan McCall, Cron 4 News.